What's up guys, Carly here and today I got a super rad jump rope tutorial for you. I'm gonna teach you how to do the poly pocket, also known as the X-step, jump in rope, just like this. All right, if that looks fun but intimidating, I got you. I'm gonna teach you in super easy steps. I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. I'm gonna get right to the point. So make sure you guys grab your rope, subscribe to my channel, and get ready to jump. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me on this quick, easy to learn tutorial of the Polly Pocket, also known as the X-Step, also known as some fancy shuffle work, jump in rope, okay? This is a fun one, there's really only a couple steps. I'm gonna break it down and make it super simple for you, all right? You will get this, okay? So we're gonna start right now. I'm gonna be using my Gratitude Freestyle Jump Rope. It is a four millimeter jump rope. I would suggest anybody new or really just doing any freestyle work, you want between a four and six millimeter rope. Anything heavier than that, you're gonna fatigue really fast. Anything lighter than that, it's gonna be too light, you won't hear the feedback, all right? If you're looking for a new set that does it all, I'm gonna put a link down here at the bottom of my ropes in this tutorial. All right, guys, let's get started. So. If you're new to any of my tutorials, you know that I first like to practice the movement, get our rhythm down first before we add in the jump rope, all right? It's gonna save you a lot of whiplashes with the rope and a lot of frustration trying to get this down, okay? It's all about connecting your mind to your body and once we get that clicked, then you're gonna be on a roll, okay? So, really highly suggest you guys are saying these movements out loud. This count, which I'll show you right now what it is, it's a one and two and one and two and one and two, okay? When you can say that out loud, it really helps get your coordination down by making your brain, figure out what your body's doing, and it just clicks, okay? So try to get turned out all distractions around the house. You wanna first get this down, and then once you get your rhythm down, then you can put your music in and groove, okay? But right now, it's all about that one and two and one and two. The more you say it out loud, the faster you are gonna get this down, okay? I promise. So the move's gonna be one and two and one and two and one and two. All right, so I'm gonna break it down really slowly and I'm gonna save the fancy stuff until after we get the movement down. The fancy stuff is the hip turns, okay? And making sure that our toes are pointed up, okay? This trick is very similar to a running man, except for we are gonna be twisting our hips from side to side and we're gonna make sure that we are putting our heel out and our toes up, okay? Unlike the running man when they're pointed down. Okay, but it's very similar. If you got the running man down, this is gonna be a lot easier for you. Either way, I'm gonna break it down. It's gonna be easy for all of you, okay? We got this. So, I have my rope for my hand, but I'm not gonna jump over it. I'm gonna start on my right leg. I suggest you start on your right leg too, because we are both gonna have to learn both sides anyway, and it's make it a lot easier for you to learn this tutorial. All right, so the first step, we are stepping on our right foot out, one, okay? I kind of have a little bit turned my hips, but don't worry about that right now, okay? Just get your right foot out, and you're gonna put all the weight on your left leg, okay? So it's one, all right, just like that. One, and we're gonna jump, okay? And then the and is when we put the weight back on our right leg, and, and then we bend our left foot, okay? So let's just repeat that a couple times. So one, right leg's out, and the weight is on your right leg. Okay, just like that, and then your left leg comes up like this. Um, it doesn't really matter how high this leg is because eventually you're gonna get so smooth that you're barely gonna be bending this left leg, but let's not get there yet, okay? Let's repeat this a couple times. So one, right leg out, and you're on the weight of your right leg, okay? So one and, one and, one and. Couple more times, one and, one and, okay? Just like that. Now we're gonna move on to the left leg, which is gonna be the two, all right? So we're gonna jump out with our left leg out, two, okay? And the, legs, the weight's gonna be in our right leg, and then the and, we're gonna put the weight on our left leg. So we're out with our left leg at two, and then we're and, okay? Just the opposite. So I'm standing on my left leg and my right leg's bent. We're gonna redo this side a couple times, okay? So here we go, two, and, two, and, two, and. All right, just get that down. Eventually, we're gonna use the hips and we're gonna do it like this, but right now, let's just get this down so it clicks, okay? So two, and, two, and, two, and. All right, so let's start on the right side and let's go all the way together. So it's gonna go one and two and one and two and one and two. I'm gonna repeat that, okay, without my rope. I'm gonna go kind of slow though. So one and two, and one and two. 
All right, so just keep doing that, all right? So here we go. One and two and one and two. All right, I'll do the slow motion for you. You guys think you got that a little bit? If you're stuck right here, this is your time to keep going over that, okay? One and two and one and two. And then we're gonna speed it up. So it's gonna go one and two and one and two and one and two. All right, so I can do it in slow motion for you. So now this time we are gonna do the one and two and one and two, but we are gonna practice rotating our hips, okay? So we're gonna jump out on one, all right? And just kind of give your hips a rotate, all right? So have your right leg out, your weight's gonna be on your left leg, and we're gonna rotate our hips, okay? That's one, jump back on your right leg, and then pop out your left on two, two, okay? So kind of, we're gonna kind of just practice going one and two and twisting our hips, okay? and one and two and one okay so twist your hips and two so practice just doing this one one and two and one and two and one and two you'll see that i have my chest forward the entire time we're just going one and two and one and two okay just like that if this is where you guys are getting stuck, just keep watching this video. That's all there is to it, all right, guys? So now we're gonna practice just adding the jump rope, okay? So I find it best to first get your rhythm down. So do alternating foot, basic bounce, whatever you want. All right, guys, so we're gonna jump right into this, okay? I'm gonna start on my right leg, and I'm gonna go one and two and one and two, okay? Ready? Here we go. One and two and one and two and one and two. Now, the more you do this, the more comfortable you're gonna get and you're gonna find that more natural rhythm where it looks effortless, okay? But you aren't gonna learn that on the first day, okay? It's gonna take you some time to practice getting this down and then you can kind of get a little more loose with it. You can kind of play with how wide you wanna put your legs in the back. Um, you can add your own personality to it, okay? So just get down the basic one and two and one and two. Keep repeating it. Throw in some good music after you get that down. And I promise you, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this move. All right guys, thanks for joining me. Next week I'm gonna teach you how to do the back step to the poly pocket, which is the double back. All right, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Peace.